What's good, everybody? What's going on, Dodger fans? What's happening? It's time for Dodgers baseball. Yes, baby. Baseball is back, and I am pumped up, as always, for baseball season. You guys all know baseball is my first love. I love baseball. It's a very exciting time to be a Dodgers fan, and they have the best big three in baseball, and it ain't even close. The Dodgers, and I'm not the first to say this, this Dodgers lineup is potent, top to bottom, right? It's potent. They're in for a big year, deep at bats, capable of driving up pitch counts. They can get on base, situational bats, a lot of power. When you have a lineup this talented, you're going to get big hits. Mookie Betts, Shohei Otani, Freddie Freeman, that's terrifying. And I didn't even mention the other names in this lineup that can have an impact as well. That's certainly not a lineup I want to face. I'm telling you. So I'm just going to say the Dodgers, and I think we can certainly say this, the Dodgers may now have the best starting lineup in the history of the sport. You can, you can also point out they have a big four with Will Smith, who they just locked up for 10 years. The quality of... This lineup is good with Smith with Smith in it. Clutch hitter, uses the whole field. He's a clutch hitter who likes being up with the game on the line. I really like him as a cleanup hitter. We have superstars here in L.A. Listen, this trio is, in, is insane this year. I'm saying what I, what I was saying when they added Yamamoto and Otani last offseason. It is World Series or bus. When this lineup has all its pieces, it is, it is nearly an unstoppable force. It's not the same team it was a year ago. You added the monster, Otani, the best two-way player in the game. An international star. And this is what the lineup is going to look like for years to come. Guys like Mookie, Freddie, and Shohei are coveted and locked up to huge contracts. So you're stuck with these guys. So whatever you want to say about the Dodgers, you can say it's all it's all hype and little substance, but now you know, this may actually be the year they come through. And I hope so. They look, they spent billions of dollars to achieve postseason success. For that kind of money, they are to Produce the reason the reason scary is such a good word to use and I know people don't take this team seriously because of their postseason demons and their letdowns in prior Octobers I get it but scary is a good word to use because this lineup features not just three MVPs but three former MVPs still in their prime all three players finished in the top three in MVP voting last season and had OPSs over 160, meaning they hit 60% better than league average. On opening day against the St. Louis Cardinals, Betts, Otani, and Freeman lived up to the hype, combining to, to reach base nine times, lunch two homers, hit a double, and scored six runs. Through three innings, the star trio had reached base all six times up and scored five runs. This is what it's going to be like all season. We already know, or we already knew this coming into the season, but we saw a glimpse of what, what they're capable of doing. They're capable of causing a lot of, a lot of hell, right? And doing a lot of damage. This is the Avengers of baseball. And a team outside of L.A., no one wants to win. The unparalleled resources, the depth, and ability to score runs at an unprecedented rate puts the Dodgers in a different stratosphere. The, the team is stacked. It's still so surreal to me. Otani is actually a Dodger. The L.A. fan base, sometimes overly delusional fans, fit the persona of Otani. 
from the outside looking in, it seems to me the Dodgers are just willing to spend money, invest massive dollars in big name players doing whatever they feel they need to do to finally get over that hump and win another World Series title. Because we still, we're still waiting for our parade that we didn't get in 2020. And because they weren't exactly shy in terms of spending money to assemble the squad that, that should be doing what they, what they have done and more, they are suddenly cast villains. Everybody loves to suddenly hate the Dodgers. Otani is looking good so far. He's been sensational. Betts is scorching hot. I mean, he's seeing the ball really well right now, hitting everything. Freeman is a power-hitting machine. We all know how good he is. It's them versus the, the rest of baseball. Freddie Freeman, I think, is one of the best hitters in the big leagues. This is a guy who finds the gap-to-gap, a double-hitting machine. There's no ego. The, the nice guy persona always has a smile. But when I watch Mookie Betts, I gravitate to him. One, this is a gold glove outfielder. Two, let's go put him at second base, do whatever we got to do, and now and now, it's it's go play shortstop. It's go play some shortstop, right? So now he's playing shortstop. And, and when you're just throwing this guy at spots, and that's what's so cool about Betts, you put him in right, center, shortstop, second, man, you're like, He's the best defender wherever you put him. Mookie has that. He's just talented and has turned himself into that versatile player who can play at shortstop, anywhere in the outfield. Like, he doesn't get enough credit for his home runs, his power, and does everything on the baseball diamond. Remarkable. You're looking at a, at a frame that's 5'10", and Mookie Betts, what a what a stud and a star being able to magnify that kind of offense and go everywhere around the field tells me a lot about your athleticism that's my kind of player and i can tell you the dodgers are here to win a world series this team was built the way it is to finally win when it matters in October. And I can tell you, anything less than a championship is a failure in Los Angeles. That's just how it is when you create an evil empire. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. Happy Friday to you all. If you guys haven't already, please do me a huge favor. Down below, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the love and support. If you guys want to keep up with the Sports Judge, you guys know where to find me. I'll be back very, very soon. I got great content coming up, as always. Would like to see you guys again soon. Take care.